The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation. Hello everybody and welcome to the beginning of the A-Team Challenge for 2017. I'm Robert Van Winkle, happy once again to be invited back to host the Gay Team Challenge this year. We're in uh, partnership with the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, NBC2, and of course the good folks at the Lee County School District. You can view our games on Comcast Channel 99 or CenturyLink Channel 89, and you can watch our games on YouTube. Just go to youtube.com forward slash Lee Schools TV. This year we're excited to play our game with an updated format and challenging questions in the subjects of science, math, Math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and some general knowledge questions as well. We're going to play two toss-up rounds to start the game today. Each correctly answered question will be worth 10 points in both rounds. Students will work individually. There's no penalty in the first two rounds for incorrect answers. Now the third round of play is our new feature of the games this year. It will be called the lightning round. Teams will select an envelope at random which will contain 10 questions relating to a specific subject. The designated team captain will be responsible for answering for the entire team working together as a group. Now both schools will have a chance to play a, a lightning round and each one will last 90 seconds. That's all the time you'll have in the lightning round to try to get 100 points. All right, so welcome to our two fine schools today. On my right, we welcome FSW, Florida Southwestern Collegiate in Charlotte County. And on my left, welcome to the good folks at Mason Classical Academy. Students, are you ready to play the A-Team Challenge? Put your buzzers in your hands and let's get started. Our first round question for 10 points. What politician who was assassinated by Carl Weiss in 1935 advocated the Share Our Wealth program as a populist governor of Louisiana? <laughs> Tough question starts us off. That's all right. Huey Long, Huey Pierce Long is the answer. Polar bears were used in experiments conducted by the Dharma Initiative in what TV series about the survivors of the crash and Olivia's in FSW. Lost. Lost is what, what I'm looking for. That was the crash of Oceanic Flight 815. 10 points for FSW uh, Collegiate. Uh, next question for 10. What periodic motion was demonstrated in 1851 in the Paris Pantheon by the procession of Foucault's pendulum and has one revolution every 24 hours? Valentina. Earth's orbit. Judges, Earth's orbit. No. Um, I finished the question. Mason, would you like, or FSW, you want a chance? Uh, Olivia. Earth's revolution. Judges? No, they, we're looking for a specific word. We want the rotation of the Earth. Rotation of the Earth. Next question for 10. Which laboratory technique uses crystal violet dye to detect the presence or absence of a thick peptidoglycan layer in the cell walls of bacteria? Casey, for FSW. Gram staining? Correct. Gram staining is right. Speak up when you give me your answers, but that's good for 10 points right there. What biblical figure who was depicted as a man of the mountain by Zora Neale Hurston was the husband of Zipporah and received the Ten Commandments? Celia, of FSW. Moses. Moses is correct. 10 points. Within the Schengen area of Europe, these people do not need to present what documents which may have visas entered in them. Dennis Mason. Correct. Passport is the right response. Ten points gets you on the board. Good job. What North American city, which was formerly known as York, was once led by Mayor William Lyon Mackenzie, and it's the most populous city in Canada? Melissa. Quebec. No, sorry, not Quebec. FSW? Give it a shot, Olivia. Toronto. Toronto. Good guess, good try, and that's worth 10 more points. What Japanese author committed seppuku on live television Ugh. after writing The Temple of the Golden Pavilion and the Sea of Fertility tetralo Tetralogy? Uh, 
Yeah, that was a tough one too. Uh, Yukio Mishima. Next question for 10. What state's 2016 U.S. Senate race pitted Catherine Cortez Masto against Representative Joe Heck to replace retiring Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid? What state, Dennis? California. Nope, sorry, not California. Good, good, good try, though. FSW? It was Nevada. You were on the right side of the country, though. That's a good try. All right, for 10 points, Peter Cooper was the first presidential candidate of what 19th century political party that called for the issuance of namesake paper currency? Patrick, FSW. Greenbackers? Correct. The green back, or Greenbackers is the right response. 10 points. Which alkaline earth metal has atomic number 20, has a carbonate found in limestone, and mineralizes to form the hard parts of human bones and teeth? Benjamin Mason. Calcium. Calcium is right. Benjamin, 10 points for your team. Good job. What beautiful Norse deity, the father of Forseti, was killed by an arrow made with mistletoe? Dennis Mason. Baldur. That's right. Baldur, and it's made by his blind brother, killed him there. Uh, 10 points. That's good. What war, what war, during which the USS Charleston captured the island of Guam, also included George Dewey's victory at the Battle of Manila Bay in 1898? Dennis Mason? Spanish-American War. Good job. That's exactly right. 10 points for you. Next question for 10. The Pacific long-tailed and the coal are species of what birds that reproduce by tricking other birds into raising their offspring? Uh, Patrick, FSW. Ravens? No, I'm sorry, that's not it. Uh, Mason? Valentina. Robins? Nope, not Robins. Two good tries, though. The cuckoos. The cuckoo bird does that. All right, that signal ends our 10-point round, and we are at 50 for FSW Charlotte, 40 for Mason Classical. I think we're off to a very fine start on the new season of the A-Team Challenge. We'll take a short break. When we come back, I'll introduce you to the two teams playing today. Don't go away. The foundation for Lee County Public Schools is celebrating 30 years of enriching education throughout the school district of Lee County. Throughout its history, the foundation has provided over $7 million in scholarships and $1.5 million in education grants. 170 teachers have received the prestigious Golden Apple Award. <laughs> to learn more, visit www.leeschoolfoundation.org. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. This one's packed with hope. This one's packed with big dreams. This one's packed with inspiration. It may look like a simple brown bag lunch, but it's really a big way to make a difference. That's because when you become a take stock in children mentor, it takes just one hour a week to make an impact that can't be measured. Change a life over lunch. Become a mentor today. Take Stock in Children is a major program of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. For more information on how you can become a mentor, call 239-337 0433 or email info at leeschoolfoundation.org. 
Welcome back to the A-Team Challenge. It's 2017. We have fresh new questions and we've got a new format and a new game underway. The first one of our 2017 season. Let's introduce you to the teams playing here today. These are our first two uh, groups uh, to represent the season coming up. On my right, we'll start off with the uh, Florida Southwestern Collegiate students uh, in Charlotte County. So from FSW Collegiate Charlotte in first position, that's Patrick. Patrick Massey is a junior this year. Thanks for the wave. He wants to go to the University of Miami and would like to study English. Uh, next to Patrick is Casey. This is Casey Rayfield. Great smile. She's a junior. She would like to head to the University of Florida and uh, her field of study will probably be medicine in the future. Good luck to you, Casey. In the back row, welcome to Olivia Palmer, also rounding out the team of juniors in the back row. This is uh, Olivia's uh, junior year in high school. She wants to go to the University of Florida and study biochemistry. And there's the last seat in the team. It's Celia, Celia Behrman. She's a junior as well, and she would like to study medicine in the future. The team from Florida Southwestern Collegiate in Charlotte County is under the coaching of Blake Schmidt. All right, good luck to you guys. Now let's Let's move over to my left side. This is Mason Classical Academy. Mason Classical position number one is Valentina. Van Valentina Zululaga is uh, a junior as well, and she wants to go to Boston College and study business, law, and English. Hope you have a good coat, Valentina. Uh, in the next position is Dennis, Dennis Hall, uh, who knows Baldur. He's uh, a junior this year, wants to go to Hillsdale, and he would like to study biology in the future. Good for you, Dennis. Back row, two players. Uh, this is Melissa. Melissa Arcilla is a junior this year. Melissa would like to head up to Boston University. Also wants to go to the New England States and study literature. Perfect spot to do that. Rounding out the team is a freshman. This is Benjamin Jenkins. Benjamin would like to head to Duke, and he wants to study engineering. So the students at Mason Classical Academy are under the coaching of Catherine Putney. Welcome to both of you. Let's put up the score if we can. I, I don't want to throw you a curveball in the uh, control room there, but you can see the game is starting off well. We have FSW at 50 points, Mason Classical at 40. Each question now worth 10 points once again for round two. Here we go. Students, hands on your buzzers. First question. What British author wrote about Lucy Honeychurch's trip to Florence in A Room with a View and described the trial of Dr. Aziz in A Passage to India? That author is uh, Edward Morgan Forster. Forster was the answer. Next question for 10. In June of 2016, a funeral in Louisville, Kentucky was held for what man who styled himself the greatest? Uh, Celia. Muhammad Ali. Correct. I'm glad you got that. 10 points for you. Next question for 10. From what country where ISIS damaged the UNESCO site of Palmyra, have four million refugees fled to Europe from civil war, and Bashar, Casey, FSW. Syria? Say again? Syria? Syria is the right response. Bashar al-Assad's regime, they're fleeing that. Syria, 10 points, FSW. Next for 10, what Ludwig von Beethoven symphony, whose home key is F major, includes movements portraying a scene by a brook and a thunderstorm? Uh, Dennis. Symphony number eight. That's a really good guess. Nope, not quite though. FSW, you want to give it a shot? Did, did somebody, you, was somebody going to start? No. Okay, it was uh, symphony number six, uh, the pastoral symphony. Next question for 10. A compound's mass percentages, but not molar mass, can be found from what kind of chemical formula that gives the simplest ratios of atoms present? Melissa, you're in in time. Um, Avogadro's number. That's a good guess, Melissa. No, I'm sorry, that's not what I was looking for. Charlotte? Uh, Olivia? Molecular mass. Molecular mass. Nope, sorry, I'm looking for empirical formula. The answer was empirical formula. It's all right, no harm, no foul. Next question for 10. Madame Defarge knits to record the names of her enemies in what Charles Dickens novel that begins, it was the best of times, Dennis Mason. Tale of Two Cities? Tale of Two Cities is the right response. 70 points, uh, 70 points, 10 points for you, uh, increasing your score, <laughs> sorry. Uh, next question for 10. A 10-point program was introduced in 1967 by what activist group, which was co-founded by Huey Newton and which was symbolized by a large cat? Uh, Patrick. PETA? No, not PETA. Good, good try, though. 
I see where you're going with that. Uh, I finished the question. Mason, you want to try? The clue in that was the large cat, and it was the Black Panthers, the Black Panther Party. All right, next question for 10. Muhammad Na Najibullah, Muhammad Najibullah, a Soviet-backed former president of what country was executed in 1996 by the Taliban? Take a guess. Dennis. Dennis. Good, good guess, good try, nope. Um, Charlotte. Good, Olivia. Um, UAE? No. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. That's okay. No harm, no foul there either. Next question. What author of the utopian novel Hairland wrote about a woman who goes mad after being forced to take a rest cure in her story, The Yellow Wallpaper? Yeah, these literature questions are tough, aren't they? It's uh, Charlotte Perkins Gilman. Gilman was the response to that one. What African river, which forms the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, is home to Victoria Falls? Dennis, what's the river? The Nile. Good try. Nope, sorry. Charlotte. I know you've heard of it. The Zambezi, the Zambezi River. Next question for 10. Which body, I'm sorry, which part of the body contains most of the basilic vein, brachial artery, and ulnar nerve, and also features the humerus bone? Uh, Celia, FSW. Your arm? Yes, the arm and the elbow joint is there as well. 10 points, FSW Charlotte. Okay, we've got a math question now. Look at your screens, pencil and paper ready. What is the reciprocal or multiplic multiplicative inverse of the imaginary number I? Benjamin's in quickly. One over I. Math judge, no, I'm sorry, she's shaking her head. Sorry, Benjamin, good try. Anybody at uh, Charlotte? Uh, Olivia. Negative one. No, it's negative I. Negative I is the proper response. Okay, next question for 10. What country, mainly found on a peninsula called Asia Minor, is home to Mount Ararat? Benjamin Mason. Turkey. Correct. Good job with your uh, geography there. Ten points. It's also got the city of Ankara and Istanbul in it. Turkey, ten points. Mason. What Washington, D.C. school is the nation's only liberal arts college for the hearing impaired? Gallaudet. Gallaudet University. Next question for 10. What painting, inspired by the three glorious days, depicts a bare-breasted woman carrying a French flag and was painted by Eugene Delacroix? <laughs> I was trying to help you with the... No, Liberty Leading the People was the name of the painting. Liberty Leading the People. Next question for 10. What medal, whose predecessor was a badge of military merit created by George Washington, was the first awarded in 1932, and it features Washington's profile? Celia, FSW. Purple Heart. The Purple Heart is the right one. 10 points, uh, Charlotte. All right, well, look at that. That's a pretty tight score there. We've got Mason Classical in at 60, FSW Charlotte at 90. When we come back, don't go away, because this will be the first time that we've had this new format on our 18 Challenge show. It will be the lightning round. Each team will have 90 seconds to play for a possible 100 additional points. We'll be right back. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The Foundation for Lee County Public Schools is celebrating 30 years of enhancing education throughout Lee County. With the support of the business community and community at large, 
More than 3,000 students have participated in hands-on learning opportunities at local STEM businesses through our STEM at Work program. One of you can hand the seeds out, one can plant and one can water. This is actually my favorite class. In this one I'm growing okra, in that one we're growing lettuce. Our Take Stock in Children and Student Advocacy and Mentoring programs have provided more than 5,000 hours of mentoring to low-income, at-risk students. And this year, more than 350 students will attend our college and career readiness workshops. If you would like to learn more about how you or your business can get involved, please visit us online at www.leeschoolfoundation.org. Welcome back to the concluding round of the A-Team Challenge. Now this is our first game for the 2017 season. So these will be the first two teams that will be playing the new addition to the A-Team Challenge, the Lightning Round. Here's how it'll work. Each team will have a chance to answer the questions that are in these folders. Each folder contains a subject specific to a certain category or legendary figure, whatever it may be. But there's 10 opportunities to get uh, the questions right and each one is worth 10 points. So there's 100 points up for grabs in each one of these folders. Now the way we'll work this is the team going into this round with the least amount of points will go first. They will get as many points as they can and then the next team will have a chance to answer their folder and then we will see who the winner is of the 18 challenge today. So with 60 points going in, Mason Classical, you're, uh, you're the first one up. FSW Charlotte has 90 points. Which color envelope would you like? They're going to pick the orange one. All right, so here we go. In the orange envelope, the category is campaign slogans. All right, so what I want you to do, I'm going to give you a slogan used by a U.S. presidential candidate. You have to give me the name of the candidate who used it. All right, so the slogan will come up. You tell me the presidential candidate that used that slogan. Are you ready? All right, don't forget, you can pass, and if there's time, we will go back to the question that you pass on. If you give me an incorrect answer, we move on. All right, here we go. Timer, are you ready? Tell me when to start. Right. Tippy Canoe. Pass. I like Ike. Dwight Eisenhower. Correct. Ross for Boss, the billionaire, was a third-party candidate in the 1990s. Pass. He kept us out of war. Pass. Yes, we can. Hillary Clinton? No, incorrect. 54, 40, or fight. 54, 40, or fight. Pass. A chicken in every pot and a car in every garage. Pass. In your heart, you know he's right. This Republican lost the election in 1964. Pass. I'm with her. Hillary Clinton. Correct. Not just peanuts. This Democrat was from Georgia. Grover Cleveland? Nope, incorrect. All right, Tippy Canoe, your first pass question. Jefferson? Hmm? Jefferson? Sorry? Jefferson. I'm sorry, it's Tippy Canoe and Tyler too. I'll give you another chance. Tippy Canoe and Tyler too. Can pass again if you want. Pass. All right. Uh, Ross for boss, billionaire, third party candidate in the 90s. Okay. All right. So you got one, two correct out of the 10. That gives you an extra 20 points. That's not bad. We'll add that to your score. You are now at 80. All right. FSW Collegiate in Charlotte County. Let's see how many points you can get. Your subject matter is, are you ready for this? Ah. Arthurian legend. Hmm. Give the English names of these people or things related to, who would you guess? King Arthur. Everything's going to have something to do with King Arthur. Um, you ready? Tell me when. Sorry. It's the sword given to Arthur by the Lady of the Lake. Excalibur. Correct. English author of La Mort du Arthur. Pass. The knight who romances Guinevere. Lancelot. Correct. Court of the Knights of the Round Table. Um, Camelot. Camelot. Correct. Arthur's court wizard. Merlin. Arthur. Correct. Arthur's bastard son who betrays him. Mordred. Correct. 
Surname of Arthur and his father, Uther. Pendragon. Correct. Battle in which Arthur is mortally wounded. Pass. Challenger of the Green Knight. Pass. Arthur's mother. Pass. <laughs> All right, well, first pass question. English author of Le Marte d'Arthur. Pass. All right. The battle in which Arthur is mortally wounded. The Battle of Camelot? <laughs> That's a good try. No, nope, incorrect. Um, Challenger of the Green Knight. The Black Knight. Sorry, good try. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is also a, a, a hard one. But Arthur's mother. Sorry, Arthur's mother. Genevieve. That's okay. That's a good guess. Nope, that's incorrect. I heard the thing. Okay. The answer was Egrain. Egrain was the mother. <laughs> kind of like, I was going to say Mrs. Arthur, but that's not right. So, <laughs> All right, so you did pretty well. You got one, two, three, four, five, as I correct, and that brings six. Six correct answers. Yep, yep, there's the top one, and that brings you up to 150. All right, folks, that determines our game. Let's give them a big hand from FSW Charlotte County. Our winners are right there. Let's give them a hand. As always, at the A-Team Challenge, we like to show our good sportsmanship as well on the field and off the field. We're just as good as the football players. So let's get up and shake each other's hands. Have a great day. Thank you very much.